Yo, what's going on guys, it's Hanson here, and we're back with a brand new Discord.js version 12 tutorial. Now, version 12 of Discord.js came out, I think, last week. Um, and I wanted to pretty much take this opportunity to start from scratch, build out a Discord bot, show new beginners who want to, you know, build a Discord bot, you know, how to do it. And I feel like this is going to be an awesome guide. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, and I'm very excited. Now... A couple things I need to mention. Uh, before you dive into making a Discord bot, you need to make sure you have a couple of prereqs down. You need to make sure you have JavaScript knowledge, okay? Oh, and you also need to make sure you have Node.js installed. If you don't have these things, uh, you're not going to be able to make a Discord bot. The reason why I'm emphasizing on having JavaScript knowledge is because quite often, a lot of people, a lot of complete beginners, they just come into YouTube comments or they come into a Discord server, and they always ask, how do I make a Discord bot? Okay, or they try to copy and paste code that they found from a tutorial. And they just don't really understand what's going on. It becomes a problem because obviously, yes, you can guess and check things and try to just figure things out. But it's not going to help your case when you run into a certain error that you won't be able to figure things out on your own. When it comes to programming, obviously, you're not alone. But a lot of times, you need to be self-sufficient. You need to be able to figure things out on your own. And by just copying and pasting code, it's never going to help your case. So it's important that the first thing you have is JavaScript knowledge. Once you learn JavaScript, everything else should not be foreign to you. Now, if you're wondering, well, what is a good resource for learning JavaScript? There are a bunch of resources out there, a bunch of YouTube tutorials, a bunch of uh, text tutorials that you can read. Uh, I will obviously recommend my own JavaScript tutorial that I spent a lot of time uh, in making. So if you want, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel, but I will leave a link in the description. It's a 15 uh, episode tutorial that just goes through the basics of programming in general, while also using JavaScript as the language to actually implement the uh concepts okay but of course if that tutorial doesn't work out for you no worries there's always other tutorials out there that will probably suit your needs okay so with that being said uh assuming that you do have javascript knowledge well what's next right i know javascript what do i do next okay so one thing you need to understand is when we make discord bots we need to use we need to interact with the discord api Okay, now fortunately, we don't need to actually implement all of the um, the HTTP protocols that we need to actually interact with the API as well as make a manual gateway connection. Uh, we actually have libraries such as Discord JS that can take care of all these things for us. Now, if you're a beginner and if you're lost and you don't know what these terms are, don't worry so much about it. I'm obviously just going you know, out of my way to explain the little details that don't really necessarily matter too much until you get into the more advanced concepts but you know it's just nice to know these little things okay but we need we basically need what's called a library a third party uh extension you can call it extension but it's pretty much a library and pretty much it allows you to use code that was written by other developers and you can use that code to build your applications much faster so instead of rewriting you know instead of implementing your own library implementing your own you know functions that do all these things for you you can use other people's functions that they wrote all you know built into a library and you can use that to interact with the api okay so discord js is uh the most popular javascript no js library um without a doubt it's been it's been out for i think about five years i think that's when it first started and it has a lot of contributors it's open source there are a lot of contributors you can go over to their github and check it out um and yeah it's, it's a pretty awesome library okay and so yeah in order to actually use discord js you need to make sure you have node.js installed and node.js is pretty much a runtime environment that allows you to execute javascript code on your desktop or on the server side Okay, so before JavaScript was only able to be run on the browser, before Node.js came out, and someone invented Node, they pretty much took Chrome's V8 engine, integrated it, and built other APIs on top of it, and allowed it to run JavaScript code on your desktop, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so you want to make sure that once you have JavaScript knowledge, once you have all the handy dandy stuff, you want to go over to Node.js. I would suggest reading a little bit about it first. And then download Node.js. So as of uh, today, 3.13.2020, 2020, 
version 12.16.1 LTS is the stable version. You can download 13.11.0, which is the current, which has the latest features. But if you're a beginner, don't worry so much about the current version. Just do the LTS version. Okay, so you're going to download that. Once you download it, you're going to have this Node.js package or this MSI file on your desktop. So I double click it. And you're going to see that's going to set up the wizard for us. And if you're on Mac and Linux, the installation process is very easy. Obviously, I'm Windows, so I can't really help you guys out. But just, you know, Google or YouTube how to install Node.js on Mac or Linux. There are plenty of guides out there. Okay, so we're just going to walk through this. Again, it's very, very simple. It's going to tell you where it's going to be installed. It's going to tell you what is going to be installed and what it's going to do. So it's going to install Node.js runtime. It's going to install NPM Package Manager. It's going to install... Or it's going to add documentation shortcuts. And it's going to add Node.js to your path. Okay. And select this, which pretty much installs the necessary tools when building some modules from C++. Or that needs to be compiled from C and C++. So just click on that and click Next. And then click Install. Obviously, I already have Node installed already, so I'm not going to do this. Okay. So it should take less than like about 60 seconds, depending on how fast your computer is, but it should take no more than, a I would say no more than two minutes. Okay, but of course it depends on how fast your computer is. So once Node.js is installed, you're gonna go over to your terminal and, or I'm sorry, you're gonna go over to start. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in command prompt. If you're on Windows, you're typing command prompt. If you're on a Mac, type in terminal, same thing with Linux. Command prompt. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just type the command node. And it should open up this interactive shell. If it doesn't, and if it says something like node is not a node is not a uh, recognized command, then try restarting your computer or try restarting your terminal if you already have it open already. And if it still doesn't work, then that what that means is there's a path issue. So if you want go so if you want to fix that, you go over to path. Whoops. Go over to path. And you click on environment variables, and you're gonna you're gonna go to system variables. Okay, uh, let's go over here. We're gonna find path. Double click it, or just click edit. And you're gonna look for. You're gonna basically just add the folder on where Node.js is installed. You can see right over here that I have Node.js installed in C slash program files slash Node.js. Okay. That's where my node is installed, and that's the reason why my node command is recognized. If I remove it, it will probably it'll definitely mess up the node command. It will say node is not recognized. Okay, so just add it to there, and everything should work. And if it doesn't, uh, just let me know. Join my Discord server, and I'll try my best to help you out. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, pretty much this is a shell that allows you to write JavaScript code and execute it. So if I do let y equal five, if I type y, it's gonna log five to the console, which is pretty awesome. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so now that Node works, okay, assuming that everything works well for you, then you're pretty much set in terms of setting up the Node.js part. The next thing that I would suggest is downloading uh, Visual Studio Code because we are going to be using Visual Studio Code for our project. So I suggest downloading Visual Studio Code. It's a very, very, very awesome text editor. I love using Visual Studio Code. I use it at work. It's freaking awesome. Okay, you can also use Atom if you want. Uh, I have used it before, and uh, I like it too. Sometimes I switch between Visual Studio Code and Atom. I use them interchangeably, so they're very similar editors that have different um, different ways of you know doing things and whatnot. But again, it doesn't really matter too much what the text editor that you use. What really matters is just you know who writing the code. Okay, they're both great editors. You don't really have to compare both of them, but they're pretty awesome. Okay, they have a lot of support in terms of, you know, packages, themes, syntaxes, and all that kind of stuff. So, very awesome. Okay, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. So, I just I just suggest if you're, if you're just starting out, use Visual Studio Code if you don't have Atom installed already. Okay, um, and yeah, just download it. Again, the installation process is very, very easy. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just click exit that out. And I think uh, that should be it for just the setup part. Obviously, we didn't really get to do any coding, but 
In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to actually add the Discord bot to your server. Okay, so I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.